Today, Apple's new chip obliterates the 12,900K, AMD released Threadripper 5000, Intel's Arc Alchemist GPUs finally get a release schedule, and AMD's Ryzen 3D costs how much? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, Apple just announced a new beast of a CPU that can apparently beat Intel's newest 12900K. It's called the M1 Ultra, and it comes with the newly announced Mac Studio. What's wild is that the M1 Ultra is effectively two M1 Max chips combined using Apple's Ultra Fusion Interconnect. And that interconnect is pretty incredible because it gets a huge 2.5 terabytes per second bandwidth. The SoC comes with a whopping 114 billion transistors, which makes up 20 CPU cores, 64 GPU cores, and 32 neural engine cores. More specifically, the CPU comes with 16 high-performance cores and 4 efficiency cores that, according to Apple, can get up to 90% faster multi-threaded performance than a 16-core PC desktop chip, which they say in their footnotes is the 12900K. It also comes with up to an insane 128 gigabytes of unified memory, which helps the GPU get some incredible performance. According to Apple, it can beat an RTX 3090 at 200 fewer watts, though I'm pretty sure they're using those neural engine cores to help with that. Plus, it's likely very specific tests. All in all, Apple's newest chip looks to be an absolute powerhouse and should force AMD, Intel, and Nvidia to up their game. Now, if you aren't subscribed to GamerMeld, what are you doing? There's a ton of releases happening this year, and if you're wanting to stay up to date on everything, GamerMeld is that place. Just hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications. I've got some really exciting stuff coming up that you don't want to miss. Next up for today, AMD officially announced their Threadripper 5000 series of CPUs. That's right, professionals everywhere have been waiting for a glimpse at AMD's upcoming chips, and the company has finally delivered, so let's go over it. As the leaks previously stated, these are Threadripper Pro chips, which likely means that AMD has done away with their regular Threadripper lineup. The processors are also exactly what we saw in the recent leak a couple days ago. The CPUs go from 12 cores all the way up to 64. They also have a new 24 core part that wasn't there in the previous Pro lineup. When it comes to performance, AMD's newest Threadripper lineup looks pretty impressive, with a single chip able to beat two Intel Platinum 8280s and quite a few workloads, and it gets some very impressive performance gains over Intel's newer Ice Lake W3375. Of course, Intel is set to release their next-gen Sapphire Rapid Xeon parts, so the company could have a big comeback. But for now, AMD is certainly dominating when it comes to high multi-threaded workloads. Next up, Intel's Arc Alchemist GPUs have been a bit of a bummer this year. Not because they aren't powerful, they cost too much, or anything like that. Nope, we don't know any of that because they still haven't been released. What Intel promised would be a Q1 launch has officially been moved back to Q2. Of course, the signs were all there, like I mentioned in my CES coverage. Regardless, Q2 isn't too far off, and that means we have leaks. Specifically, the release timing for their upcoming high-end cards, meaning the cards based off of their 512 EU GPU. The story comes from Igor's lab, who's one of the most trustworthy leakers out there. And according to him, several sources claim that the three performance SKUs are set to release between May 2nd and June 1st. Funny enough, right after this leak, Intel officially announced a conference for May 10th to the 11th, and they even claim that there will be product launches. Now, with the fact that this isn't an open conference, it may not be for ARC GPUs. Simply put, with such a big release, I doubt they do it that way. Still, it's right in that time frame from Igor's lab, so that just just might be it. Fingers crossed. And lastly for today, AMD is planning a huge comeback against Intel's 12th gen CPUs, and that's even before they release their Ryzen 7000 parts. So first up, this includes their Ryzen 3D part, or more specifically, their Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. For those who don't know, it's AMD's first CPU with their 3D stack vCache, and it's supposed to give a pretty serious jump in gaming performance. Well, one of Video Card's most reliable sources just leaked some huge information. And of course, remember that video cards is typically spot on when it comes to their leaks. So the fact that it's coming from one of their reliable sources, there's a big chance this is right. 
Either way, according to the source, the Ryzen 5800X3D is set for release on April 20th, so a little over a month away, which is about what we expected. Not only that, but video cards also shared the price. According to their source, it's set to come in at $449, which is the same price that their original 5800X released at. So not too bad, at least potentially. I think it's going to come down to whether it can beat everything else in gaming. Obviously, the 12900KS will be more expensive, but it also has more cores. At the very least, it should beat Intel's similarly priced chips at gaming. Oddly enough, Alika recently showed off the chip and claims that it doesn't have overclocking. Maybe the final release will, but that's not all AMD has planned according to video cards. Like we saw in a recent leak, the company is apparently planning to release a slew of new CPUs. Specifically, we have the 5700X, which is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU at just $300. Then there's the 5600 at $200, the 5500 at $159, and even three new Ryzen 4000 parts, even a new APU. And I'll have affiliate links to these down in the description below for when they're released. In the end, this is AMD's response to Intel's 12th gen CPUs. We'll ultimately have to see how they stack up, but it's nice to see some new lower end parts. So while that does it for today, is AMD's 3D chip set to take the gaming crown? And what do you think about my new intro? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.